Hey everybody, it's the master poet. I had to fix my chair. Put me aside there. No wide load. I sat down there and the thing broke on me so I fixed it up. Board down there. I found this down there at the side of the road. Little pad right there. That worked pretty good. Anyway, I got I got to come over here. Got me a little step right here. That's good for standing on right here. Just don't be careful when you do it. I had it back in my truck for a seat. But it didn't work too good. Anyway, we got to go on out here. Well, hey everybody. Got me some new granddaughters right here. Wait till they get on that swing right there, but uh, my uh, son-in-law's mama took this beautiful picture. She did a good job on it. We proud of them babies. Their mama had a little problem, but good Lord gonna see it through. But anyway, it's springtime. Look at all this pretty grass out here. Over here in Georgia. You know, springtime, all the insects come out. So we got to, I'll come show y'all what I invented, a little mouse trap here. Got my tractors ready to do some planting. Got the hair first. Gonna plant me a garden for too long. But ain't them pretty babies right there? Look at this right here I found right there. Petrified frog. Where he come from? We'll put him back up here on the golf cart. Yeah, to keep the girls away probably. Anyway, go over here and I'll show you. Well, I'm being this mouse trap here. Homemade mouse trap, I'll show you how it works. Get some peanut butter, it can be any kind. This is Crunchy Family Pantry. Get you a handful and put on that can right there. Like that. Whoops, got to put some on the other side to balance it. Whoa, probably need a look there. Anyway, we'll put some up here too. Yeah, that'll work. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it'll work or not. I'll try. We'll put it all around it. What the hell, put the whole jar on there. Anyway, that little mouse, he comes up a little board right here like this, see? He gets up here, gets on that wire, smells that peanut butter, gets on it, the can, rolls him off and dumps him in that water down there. What y'all think about that? It's kind of old, it's been sitting there a while. Let's see if there's any rats in there. No, there's some old peanut butter. Boy, that thing's sloppy there now. Well, anyway, that's the way that works. I might make a fortune on that little mouse trap right there. Ain't that pretty? I was thinking that it takes a smart mind to think about something like that. I was thinking about selling them little babies, probably $59.95 with the economy and all. I could buy me a half a tank of gas with that money. Gas went up so high. But anyway, I got this other little invention I made. Called a carpenter beast water. Now, let's see how she works. Oh, yeah. See all these bees are flying around. There's one right there. That guy, you see it? You just smash him with that right here and knock him right down. You got it. Just, you get your exercise in the way, too. Anyway, the bees, there's one right there. Fat, fat, fat. Look at that. They bore holes in your woods, ain't no good. And if all else fails, you can get this other stuff. Shake it up. You see one? Stand back where it won't get on you. And if that don't work, you can get this soccer ball right here. You get... Uh oh. I missed, I think. Still fast, ain't it? Where the one at? Missed it. 
I bet y'all wonder what this sprout bottle doing in this pecan tree. It's just a conversation piece. Everybody asks, what's that sprout bottle doing in that pecan tree? I'll leave it out there for something to talk about. Well, I guess I won't make a good exterminator. I reckon I'll just have to stick the basketball. Y'all later.